politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Well, good morning, the Buzz family. It's a brand new day. And of course, you know, the business right here on the Buzz UG. It's all about the biggest stories making headlines in the country. My name is Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fula. Meanwhile, there is change in my voice. I think I'm developing flu. I'm really sorry for that, guys. Now, the Anti-Homosexuality Bill 2023 has been read for the first time in Parliament by Bujiri Municipality Member of Parliament, Horrible Asuman Mbasalirwa. That the bill entitled the Anti-Homosexuality Bill 2023 be read for the first time. It should be remembered that in 2013, the Anti-Homosexuality Bill was passed in Parliament and in 2014, President Museveni signed the controversial Anti-Homosexuality Bill, which was later overturned in court. Now, the Honorable Asman Basalirwa is happy that this time around, everybody in the country and the entire government is in total support of the Anti-Homosexuality Bill and appreciated the Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Anita Monk, for standing her ground. Right on speaker, to thank government, they undertook to provide the certificate and the certificate was provided. We understand the pressure, right on speaker. The pressure is immense, the pressure is enormous, but you stood your ground, we have stood our ground, they stood their ground. Uh, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Monk, has called on the public to come out boldly and give their opinions on this bill, not forgetting the homosexuals. And I will also ask the committee to ensure there is sufficient public hearing on this bill. Nothing should be hidden. And as I've already said, everybody, our people will vote by tally. All the members will vote by tally. We will name, call the person and the person will vote. We don't want the technicalities of saying there was no quorum. This is the time you're going to show us whether you're a homo or you're not. We are going to have the, the, the bill go to the committee, accord people public hearing, maximum. Let the public come and express their views, including the homos. Allow them to come. Even if you have members of parliament, the, the, the religious leaders, all of them, please listen to them before you report back to, to the House. Uh, the Speaker of Parliament also commented on the threatening voices that have come along with this bill. And this business of intimidating people that you will not go to America. What is in America? For me, the only thing you can intimidate me on is that you will not go to my constituency. <laughs> but so long as I'm able to go to my constituency, to hell with those countries. There have also been reports that uh, President Museveni and his entire government are under immense pressure because of this bill. But government chief whip, the Honorable Amson Obua, in parliament yesterday said, uh, uh, government and the leadership of parliament is not under any pressure. I want to state that the leadership of the government of the Republic of Uganda under His Excellency the President General Yuweri Kaguta Museveni is not under any pressure. I also want to state that the leadership of the Parliament of the Republic of Uganda under Right Honorable Anita Among Anet, who is here in person, on Right Honorable Anita Among Anet Magogo, <laughs> is not under any pressure. The laws we make constitutionally, we make them for the peace, for the order, and for the good governance of Uganda. Well, I don't know what you think about this story, but uh, the comment section is right there for you. Uh, most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melaz Milo, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.